Hi, it's Miss Erica. Hi, Gavin. Today, we are going to make a holiday gift, which will be this polar bear in a snowstorm. I think it turned out really nice. What do you think, Gavin? I think it did. It did. I can't wait to give this to someone special. Maybe I'll give it to me. Or my guinea pig. You, Mabel? <laughs> That's hilarious, Gavin. Um, so we're gonna need a couple of supplies for today. Uh, what do we need? We will need our blue paint and our white paint, our sponges, and our bag of glitter. Ooh, glitter, my favorite. So make sure you grab all of your materials. Um, and also, I'm gonna tell you about this um, during the next part of this video, but our sponges need to be damp. They should not be dry. It's really hard to sponge paint with um, dry sponges. So that's just a helpful hint. And uh, we'll see you right back here to get painting. Before we get started, I want to cover two things. The first is the materials we're going to need. The second, we need to prepare our sponges. First things first, we're going to need our blue paint, our white paint, glitter, our canvas, and two sponges, one for each color. Step two, our sponges are dry when we get them out of the bag. We do not wanna use dry sponges to sponge paint. It's just not as effective and it doesn't turn out as nice. So what I want you to do is take your two sponges, go to the sink, run some water over them until they're really wet. And then I need you to take them in your hand and squeeze them as hard as you can with all of your might to make sure that a good amount of the water is out. Otherwise, it will really um, get our paint very liquidy and it'll start running. We don't want it dry and we don't want it soaking wet, just damp. So this might be a good uh, place to pause and make sure that everyone has a damp sponge. Okay, we've got our damp sponges, our paint, and our glitter and our canvas. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the darker color, the blue. We're gonna sponge all around this area. Make note of this line that has been drawn here so carefully. For us, this is our guide. The inside will be white, the outside will be blue, and we wanna get our blue as close as we can to the edge. So we will start with the blue, then we'll pause for a moment, and then we will get started with the white. Um, and we will get there in a moment. Um, let's get started. So we'll grab one sponge and we will take the sponge and we'll dip it in the paint, but leave the top part um, without paint so you can hold it on your, in your hand and not worry about it. So here's what I like to do with the lid. I like to use it to blot so I don't have too much paint. I want paint on it, but not too much because then it gets really chunky and it's gonna get all over. It's gonna get on your hands. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll clean up later. I'm gonna start in the corner and I'm gonna start just very carefully patting down my sponge, up and down, up and down, and I'm sponge painting. And I'm trying to get as close to this line as I can. If I go over, not a big deal. Okay, so I bring it up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And when it starts getting really light, you can see this color is changing. It's time to add a little bit more paint. And I'm just using the, the, um, the bottom piece. You could use the whole area. I just find I have more control when I just use this bottom part. I love how Gavin is, is doing it the same way that I am. It gives us a little bit more control. And then that way, um, we can paint and follow this line. This is turning out really nice. It's pretty cool. It is. Sponge painting is like an awesome thing. And a huge thank you um, to uh, Miss Galvan and Miss Ramos and our teacher's aides for helping us prepare these canvases with this adorable um, little bear. It's so cute. It really helps us figure out where we need to paint and where we don't need to be painting, right? Yeah. Which is on the table. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're like me, it's all over my hands. Um, yeah, me too. If you have paint on your hands, 
be careful not to touch the bear on the inside. Um, it might have been a great idea to have maybe a napkin. Uh, we weren't thinking about that before we got paint all over our hands, but that's okay. If you have a bunch of paint on your finger, just be careful, it'll dry off. And we're just uh, sponge painting. We're patting up and down and up and down and we're just blending it in, getting as close to this line as we can. Um, and also one thing, we kind of do wanna wait to paint this white for a little bit. We want this blue to dry up because it'll turn into like a um, very light blue when the white meets the blue, it'll become like, um, like a cyan or a teal color. Well, maybe not so much cyan, but very light sky blue. So we're just dipping our sponge into paint and we are sponge painting. It's very fun. Very carefully. I'm trying to keep the color consistent. If you like how the color changes as um, the paint uh, kind of fades, you can leave it like that. It's up to you, it's your piece of art. But I kind of want to keep it all a similar color of blue. Oh Gavin, that looks beautiful. This is going to make an excellent holiday gift for anybody who is important in your life. Yeah. You have any ideas who you're gonna give it to, Gavin? A lot of people. Oh, how many are you gonna make? I don't know, I don't wanna be a spoiler. No spoiler alerts, I see. That's. That's a good policy. Okay, so I did a pretty good job. Um, I've left the inside pretty um, clear of blue paint. Mine sort of, but. Oh, you did a great job. Go, go Gavin, go Miss Erica. You did pretty good. Um, if there's a little bit of blue on the inside, it's okay. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Nah, it's not a big deal. There's always one way to fix it. Yep, you can kind of cover it up with that uh, white paint that's coming up. Yeah. Oh, and if you're like me, I, I painted the table a little bit. That's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe a decorative table for Christmas. Yes, we have a sponge painted uh, coffee table for Christmas. Okay, um, I definitely have a lot of blue on my hands. I'm just going to rub my hands together to try to... Yeah, probably me too. That works. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good enough. Good enough. All right, so now... Um, we are gonna work with our white paint. Um, so we will put the blue paint aside. We will move away our blue sponge and lid. Up next, white paint. White paint next. All right, so our sponge is damp. We, um, we went to the sink. We ran water over it. We squeezed it so, so hard. And it's not soaking wet, it is just damp. And now we are going to um, paint with our white color. And we're going to start in the middle and we're gonna avoid the edges till the very end because I wanna give this blue some time to dry a little bit. Um, and then while it's still damp, we're gonna add the glitter. Me blowing on it didn't help, but in my mind I thought this will really help. Didn't, it didn't do anything, Gavin. Didn't. No, but in my in my mind, it seemed like a great idea. This happens to me a lot, Gav. Is it true? Sometimes. Sometimes. Which All right. Happens a lot. <laughs> all right. So, oh wow, you can't really see it, but that's okay. No worries. It's all good. It's all white because the the canvas is white. That's why. That's white. <laughs> You're fall. All right, so um, we're just sponging in this adorable bear. Super, super cute. And it adds some texture. Um, I'm not getting too close to the edges yet because that blue paint is still a little bit damp, but we will at the end and then we'll blend the edges together. So the inside is, is pretty well sponge painted. I don't think I'm gonna add any more. Now we're gonna blend it all together. What do you think, Gav? 
Yeah. You ready? Getting a little more paint on. Now I'm just gonna blend by patting along the edge of the blue and the white. That's perfect. Just kind of painting along that edge, blending my white and my blue together. And it's making a very interesting color of light blue. It is, it looks like, like sort of like a sunset bow with like a sort of like mixed up together like a cloud in the sky. It does look like clouds in the sky. It sort of looks like an island and then the water surrounding it. Oh wow. It but looks like a cloud that is shaped very much like a bear. Yeah. Like the Beethoven bear. Which he is always he is always going to be brown. Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe I don't know. You have maybe, a point there. Maybe, you have a point there. Maybe it's literally going to change his color white. We don't know. Probably not, but maybe for the holidays it could be the Beethoven polar bear. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I'm not in charge of that. It's just an idea. Yep. All right. So, yeah, now I'm, I'm carrying a little bit of that blue in on accident, but it looks kind of cool. I'm going to blend it in a little bit. It makes kind of a shadow. Yeah, me too. Oh, it looks really nice, actually. This is so cute. So, we have blended our white and our blue background together by uh, grabbing our white. We stipple, and then we sponge, and we just kind of blend those two lines together by tracing between the white and blue, and it creates this really cool shadow, like a halo effect around the bear. And I'm really actually enjoying it yeah. thoroughly. I'm very, very Yeah, pleased. it looks pretty cool. It really does look nice. Can I keep yours, Gavin? Can I keep yours? Yeah, we'll trade. <laughs> we'll trade. It's a trade. So, okay. Last step for today. We're going to grab our glitter. So this can be really fun or really unfun, depending on how you feel about glitter. Do you mm. like glitter? Uh, four dollars. I love spicy. glitter, but I hate cleaning it up. Yep. Are you going to clean up my mess? Can you clean up my mess? Wait, so we're trading again? Yeah. Oh, okay. You heard it first. You heard it first, second grade. Gavin will clean up my mess if I clean up his mess. All right. So we've opened our bag of glitter. You can either pour it in your hand like I'm going to do. Pour a little bit in my hand. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to pour a little bit, but some... What I would do is pinch the bag like that and then pour because the, um, the opening is not big enough for the glitter to come out. Do you need help, Gav? Probably. All yeah. right. Let's put your hand in front of the camera so everyone can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to pinch the bag. We're going to pull it straight. Then I'm going to tip it. Ta-da! So... Bag's closed, we open it, we pinch these two sides, and then we make sure it's pulled straight down, and then we pour. Perfect, all right. And if you can't get it, ask an adult, any adult, old, older sibling, anybody who's a little bit older, I can guarantee they'll help. Yeah. So while this is still wet, we're gonna sprinkle glitter on it. And the thing about glitter is it's gonna go everywhere. It's gonna be on you. Can you even go on the white bear or no? Oh, yeah, sure. The bear's going to get covered in snow, too. Why not? And you put glitter. I love glitter. It's going everywhere. Some might just want to have the blue be glittered. Um, Miss Erica is a big fan of glitter, so it's it's everywhere. It's on me. It's going to be on Mabel. The guinea pig. That looks good. It looks like my bear is in a snowstorm, and I am covered in glitter. Oh, wow. It's really on me. Look at that. I'm gonna be glittery the forever. Is, the thing is about glitter, it gets really stick to you. It does. It's it's a part of my body now. I get, it's a part of me. Now you just wipe it off. <laughs> so um, our um, bear is done for today. I'm just gonna tilt mine and see if any glitter falls off. Okay, it is done for today. It is not done forever. It's just done for today. Because what we need to do is over the weekend, we need this to dry. So we'll leave it alone. We'll put it away. And then 
we're gonna have another surprise video for you on Monday about um, what we're gonna do to complete this project. Because, well, our bear doesn't have a face. Does it? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't look done. It looks, it looks nice. Sort of done. Sort of done. It's, it's a nice outline, but it's kind of hard to tell what it is. So we need to let all this paint and glitter um, dry up. And then um, on Monday, we'll be back with another video about how we will finish this amazing project that's going to be the best holiday gift that you've ever given. Yep. Um, thank you for joining us today. This is really exciting. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Bye. Bye.